Hey beer tubers, Ryan back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Today we are looking at Kern River Brewing Company's Class 5 Stout. Class 5 is a reference to the most dangerous rapids you can come across up on the river there in Kernville, California. I have been whitewater rafting as I mentioned in the last Kern River Brewing episode and unfortunately we had to get out of the water with our boat our raft that we were on to uh, bypass one of the class 5 rapids and uh, it looked really intense I would not want to go down it and with the stout clocks in at 8.5% ABV so it's a big stout on the uh, imperial level and uh, let's get it poured into the Fuller's Nonic probably the wrong glass for this type of beer but oh well we're going to go with the pint for this one. I've had it sitting out of the refrigerator for about uh, 25 minutes or so. So it should be pretty good temperature. And this thing pours, yeah, completely black. I can't see any light through that. Maybe it's just a tiny, tiny hint on the edge. Half finger of uh, kind of a uh, light brownish khaki colored head mostly small bubbles on that yeah. maybe some okay lacing on there don't expect much heavy tension at eight and a half percent ABV let's get the nose on it oh yeah that's very nice what you'd expect for a uh, stout at this ABV tons of roasted malt Good amount of chocolate in there as well. Let's see if I can get any coffee or any of that kind of flavor as well. Now, mostly just roasted, roasted malt and chocolate on there. It, it does say they use a bit more hops than normal. It's complemented with Chinook and Cascade hops. Don't get any hops on the nose. Um, especially with Cascade, you might get like a citrus quality. Shook might kind of be in that same kind of spice. But I'm not picking anything up, so I don't know if this is an older bottle or not. But uh, let's dig in. Cheers. Very nice. It drinks immediately much smoother than 8.5%. I didn't pick up any alcohol in the nose, and I'm not, not getting any, any on the flavor right now. Up front, kind of follows the nose in terms of big time uh, roasted malt that kind of gives way to the chocolate and then it kind of finishes off with that chocolate kind of lingering in your mouth a bit. Now, very smooth, easy drinking beer for 8.5%. I mean, this is drinking like the Firestone Walker Velvet Merlin that I just reviewed, and that was 5.5%, and this is 3% 3 8, 3 ABV more than that beer, and uh, it's not drinking much higher. Actually, a lot of similar flavors to that beer as well. As I've continued to drink it, I start to notice the hop character definitely coming up. Um, the more and more drinks you take, I do get a little bit of a citrus kind of bitterness kind of coming up into the, the back of the tongue and the finish. This is definitely not a sweet stout. It is more towards the, uh, the bitter end, like a bitter dark chocolate. You do get some of those chocolate notes in there, but predominantly the bitterness I'm getting at this point is are those hops showing up to uh, counteract the sweetness. So far on the negative front, I, I would say this beer probably has a little too much carbonation for 8.5%. Uh, I'm getting a lot of burps out of it, and I do see a good amount streaming off the bottom of the glass. So overall for Kern River Brewing Company's Class 5 Stout, I'm going to give it a B plus. It, it's an above average beer to the upper end of above average. It was a little different than I was expecting. It doesn't drink like a huge beer at 8.5%. It drinks very smooth but it's not watery, it's got a nice medium body on it. It's got some nice chocolate and roasted malt characteristics to it. 
a decent amount of hops in the back end to, to keep it from going completely sweet on you. So it's not quite a, uh, a typical stout that you see at this percentage, you think more of an imperial stout. Now this one might be in the kind of, in terms of imperial, but it drinks more like a, a bigger kind of oatmeal stout, that kind of dry stout, as opposed to some of the really thicker uh, imperial Russian stouts that really coat your mouth. This one's much, much lighter. Although as you drink it, you start to get that alcohol kind of creeping up on you. You definitely don't taste it, which is very nice. So that's it for today. Here's the bottle again, Class 5 Stout from Kern, Kern River Brewing Company. So far, this is the only two beers I've seen from them in San Diego, but if I see more, I'll pick them up and do a review. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.